The Neolithic era, a mysterious, largely unknown, yet often aggressively debated age, which regardless of our planet's long history, is a group who could seemingly build stone trilithons weighing many hundreds, even in some places megaliths, thousands of tons in weight. Largely claimed as our ancestral beginnings, with the only ever modern civilization that being our own, a seemingly immovable, non-negotiable reality. Long attested and aggressively defended timeline, defended, funded, and supported by nearly every institutional and academic field of study the world over. The complexity, the precise alignments, the illogical efficiency, and the enormity of many stones, all often used in the creation of the dolmens, is all evidence of a far more capable group than currently claimed specifically that of a site known as Gavernus, a site we have covered in the past, recognized as one of the largest Neolithic sites anywhere on Earth. Undeniable proof, we feel, among many others, which fit the same description, a group with far more advanced, oftentimes far more ingenious weightlifting abilities than will ever be given mainstream credit for. Accomplishing feats of ancient engineering, whoever accomplished by, no matter how primitive in appearance, were built from gigantic, often stones, roofs, and walls cut from notoriously hard stones, allowing them their incredible longevity. Surviving long-lived architecture is thus still on display in many places worldwide. Lintels still set aloft many gateways, each of giant proportions, yet the most incredible of these relics, we feel, is undoubtedly the largest of them all the Dolmen of Menga. Successfully stifled from more mainstream acclaim, this undoubtedly due to the Dolmen's incredibly large roof, with a capstone estimated to weigh far over 1,000 tons. Regardless of this reality, they are still continued to be argued as the creation of the first real permanently documented settlement of man, from a previously long-lived, torturous lifestyle of the nomads. And although they were oftentimes depicted as cavemen, the reality is far from the bone-wielding ape-like depictions currently pushed by mainstream academically funded institutions. With academia kept busy continuing to argue in support of this mainstream opinion, argued as reality no matter how illogical, these supposed Stone Age people also displayed an astonishing insight into astronomical precisions with alignments we are only beginning to decipher. Additionally, and in conclusion, any group or individual in a position of trust who continues to claim that these Neolithic groups were not global is in support of a fallacy, and an ignorant one at that, for overwhelming evidence suggests everywhere flying in the face of this clear lie. The likeness of Neolithic sites, the sharing of patterning and artistic designs make the connections undeniable. Fortunately for truth-seekers, it is immortal and will always be there to find. As such, it is only reality that will stand up to the tests of time, to resist against all scrutiny. For as one may already know, the facts don't lie. And the more we decipher regarding said sites, the more we learn about ourselves and each other. Who were the Neolithics? How did they accomplish such incredible feats of ancient engineering? We find their existence and past capabilities highly compelling.